So last night I finished up the fuel system for the 77 Cutlass and today I got my new sending unit for the Custom Cruiser. Remember I told you that they never made a factory fuel injection style sending unit. So I got a uh, Dorman replacement. You know, it's two lines, feed and return. I'm actually going to use the return side as my feed line. It's a 5 sixteenths line. Some people might question that. I mean, typically I would use a uh, 3 eighths feed line, but the TBI pump is actually it's 5 sixteenths. It's a 5 sixteenths feed. So, I need to do a few things first. I'm going to try to keep this simple. And this is going to be in parts. i got to remove the factory sock. And then there's like a return filter, or there's like a ball check valve here. That's going to be getting removed too. That should fit right on. Oh, like a glove. And basically, the idea is I'm going to use the return side as the feed, obviously. Even I believe the Walbro 255 I bought and I used on the Grand National sender. The pump itself to the sender, it's 5 16 feed. And then it goes, it balloons up to a 3 8. Why it does that is beyond me. So basically, this is the type of unit I'm going to have here. I'm going to have to, I need to secure the pump and I have to get a new sock for the pump. Probably just going to secure it with a couple hose clamps, and that's the plan. I have to drill a hole in the top of the lid here. I'm going to reuse the, the wire through bulkhead from the other sending unit. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm only going to use one, one side, I believe. Let's try to look at these pins here. Oh yeah, if you're going to rewire your pump, remember there's you get the two terminals, A and B. A is always the ground. In this case, you're not going to be able to tell because of the video, because they both look gray to you. One's a darker gray than the other. The darker gray is your ground. So I'm going to get to it. And uh, be back here in a jiffy.